The month of Tishri is definitely a month which is going from one extreme to the other. We had Rosh Hashanah, we had two days ago Yom Kippur, yesterday we had God's talk, and now we're full force into preparation for Sukkot. The Yantav of Sukkot. This year unique, in terms I would guess there will be many more Sukkot than usually because you can't go to public Sukkot. You can't go to France, at least here in Montreal. Uh, so everybody's going to have to build their own sukkah. So let us have a little quick look. What does sukkah represent? And specifically in our present situation. So it says in Code of Jewish Law, in the Shulchan Aruch, talking about the mitzvah of sukkah, it says the following, Ketzat mitzvah yeshiva besukkah. What is the mitzvah? How does one fulfill the mitzvah of dwelling in the sukkah? So he says, She'a oichel v'shoise, one should eat and drink over there, and sleeping over there, live in the sukkah both day and night. The same way as one lives in his home. The door of the sukkah called Shiva Sayomim, Kederach Shodor Bebeisa Bishari Moisar Shona. He lives in the sukkah the same way as he lives on a regular basis in his home. And it adds those words. The whole Shiva Sayomim and those seven days, Oisa Adam as Beisa Arai, a person considers, makes his home his temporary dwelling. And the sukkah becomes his permanent dwelling. So what do we have over here, basically? What the Torah is telling us, that we should exit from our permanent home to a temporary dwelling. Permanent home, usual homes, temporary dwelling, the sukkah. But let's see about what is really the definition of a sukkah. Is it temporary or is it permanent? we find a very interesting dichotomy regarding the sukkah itself, regarding certain laws of the sukkah. And here are some examples. We did describe it as dirat arai, a temporary dwelling. Therefore, halacha says, the roof of the sukkah has to be made with branches, bamboo sticks, whatever kind of foliage you can have that will last for seven days. But it shouldn't be too, too thick. Because if it becomes too thick, then it becomes like a roof, and then it looks more permanent. Yet on the other hand, if it is raining in the sukkah, according to halacha, one is not obligated to eat there. Why? Because the sukkah is supposed to be like your home. One is not going to eat and enjoy a meal and live in a room where it's raining, when it's dripping the whole time. So we're not supposed to make it like your home. At the same time, you live there as if it is your home. Further, it says, there's a certain height, how tall a sukkah could be says 20 amos, 20 cubits, approximately 30 feet. If it's taller than this, it's not a sukkah. Why? Because then it's not considered any more temporary structure. Then it's considered more permanent. So what is it? What is the sukkah? Permanent or temporary? So in other words, the Torah wants us to take an essentially transient structure and make it our permanent home. While at the same time God tells us to look at our permanent home and understand that really this which is considered permanent is only a transient structure. There's a beautiful story to that. That the Hasid came to the Maggit of Mesrich. And the Magnet of Mizrich was living in extreme poverty. When the Chassid saw the poverty he is living in, he says, Rebel, allow me to provide for you a proper home. And the Rebel said, I have all that I need. He says, Rebel, where you're living is not even a decent chair. So the Rebel asked him, were you staying here in the inn, the motel? Do you have everything that you need? He says, look, I'm only there temporary. So for the temporary time I'm here, it's good enough. Said the Maggid, 
I'm also here only in this world temporary. Understanding, says the Maggit, that this entire experience here in this world is a temporary. What is important, the permanency is what? Is the spiritual world. This is where I need all my comfort and all my furniture. So the Torah basically tells it with sukkah to understand and appreciate that our homes are only transient. It is this temporary sukkah which really is where our focus should be, especially these days when we realize that we're in a transient moment from exile into exodus, from going over from the moment of 2,000 years of exile, coming into the permanent state of our home, the home of the Bet HaMikdash, the home of Jerusalem. May God help us that we have it before the holiday of Sukkot.